Swift action by the new Minnis administration causing the Bahamas to dodge the financial blacklist. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Munnings. I'm Kishal Adderley. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Topping the news, the country's financial services industry could have been in trouble if the new administration didn't take the steps to avoid being placed on a list of uncooperative tax havens. In April, authorities from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development warned that the Bahamas was the last of 109 countries to level the playing field in implementing the common reporting standards for automatic tax exchange. With this in mind, Financial Services Minister the Honorable Brian Simonet minced no words in saying his administration got right to work in taking care of the people's business by avoiding a financial blow. We uh, signed the common reporting uh, st standards with the a view of, of complying with a lot of the international regulations. That was something that was delayed under the uh, former administration while they decided whether to do multilateral or bilateral. So we've come right in and started to tackle some of the difficult decisions. We'll implement that. If we hadn't, we would have been blacklisted. What was required was to sign a certain number of bilateral agreements within a period of time. It didn't happen. So when the, after the election, we had no choice because time had run out. We could have been the lone wolf, as you quite rightly said, and resulted in being black blacklisted, which would have been another downgrade. Now the question is, how does the Bahamas financial services industry stack up in such a highly competitive and regulated environment? We have a very strong basis as a financial service industry. We do have very strong reporting requirements. We're not on um, major blacklists. There's one or two areas that we need to, to, to tweak, um, and we will do that o over time. So we are a strong base. We do have good reporting requirements if you look at other tax jurisdictions in the, in the Caribbean and elsewhere. So that's a, that's a positive. We, as the industry changes, it moves away from tax havens more to wealth management and other services. So that's where we have to reposition ourselves. There's going to have to be a certain amount of rebranding of the Bahamas as we move towards that era. We have to look at new industries. Maybe years ago we lost the captive insurance market. We have to look at that whole issue. We have to look at other insurance, uh, develop legislation to, to deal with that. 